Welcome to Let's Talk Meshings, This is How I Glyph, a series where we review scripts that have been written to automate specific tasks in PointWise or the entire meshing process. In this video, we're taking a look at rotateView.glyph, a script written to rotate the scene given user-defined rotation angles about the body axis. To download the script, you'll want to visit github.com forward slash pointwise forward slash rotate view. Once here, you can go to the clone or download button. When you click on that, you'll be able to click download zip to grab the entire repository, which will include the script itself. Scrolling down, you can see the readme file. This script does have a user interface and we'll be going over that in this video. You can see some notes about the operation, isometric views, as well as the hotkeys that you can use to drive this script. Taking a look at the script, I wanted to point out the procedure called rotate view. This is the main procedure that basically controls this script. Basically what it expects are three angles about the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. So the procedure will take those angles, will create those variables. It's then going to define three quaternions. And a quaternion is basically a vector and the rotation angle about that vector. So three quaternions are created for the x, y, and z rotation. A final quaternion is then created that basically defines the combined rotation of the scene, and it's this quaternion that's actually used to update the display. So again, this is the main procedure that drives this script, and if you remove all the comments and the white space, it's about 10 lines long. It could actually be condensed even further. So now we're here in PointWise, and I've executed the script, and you can see the TK interface uh, has opened. And basically what you're gonna to wanna to do here is define your rotation angles or you can click an isometric view. So just simply, I'm going to define a rotation angle about the x-axis. So we're gonna rotate about the x-axis 45 degrees. In this scene, the x-axis is going off to the right. I'm going to animate that rotation and I can click the rotate button or I can hit the enter key. That's the hot key for rotate. I'll go ahead and click the rotate button and you can see that the scene has updated and we've rotated about that x-axis by 45 degrees. I can specify multiple rotations, so I could say 45 degrees about the x-axis and simultaneously we can do 45 degrees about the y-axis and go ahead and rotate and we can actually perform that rotation multiple times. If I turn off animate rotation, you'll notice that it just snaps to that view. I can toggle that back on and again we have the animation. Now if I click reset view or hit the hotkey control R, it'll actually reset the view to what it was before we actually ran the script. So you can perform a variety of rotations and if you wanted to, you could hit reset to basically back out all those rotations and return to what you had before you even ran the script. The isometric buttons basically create isometric views of your scene. So X ISO, what that's gonna do is it's gonna first align with the X direction and then rotate approximately 35 degrees about the horizontal axis and 45 degrees about the vertical axis. Same with Y, except it's going to align with the Y direction first, and then Z will align with the Z direction and then perform the same rotation operations. So I'll go ahead and click each one of these. So you can see X ISO, Y ISO, and Z ISO. And there are hotkeys that drive each of those as well. Control X will put it into X isometric view, control Y into Y isometric view, and then control Z will do Z isometric view. And then when you're done, you can click the done button or hit the escape key to abort the script. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description.